And let's begin this broadcast with news from Karnataka on the Sandalwood murder case in which actor Darshan and his wife, his partner Pavitra Gowda, are in custody. A day after they were produced in court, cops are now conducting searches at Pavitra Gowda's residence in Bengaluru. Cops are, are uh, in fact carrying out evidence collection at this point. At the extreme right of your screens are the images of the cordoning off of the entire area as police officials are currently at the spot. Uh, in fact, uh, at this point, we know uh, that Pavitra Gowda has been named as the A1, as accused number one in this particular case. Anika Keshav is joining us with more details on this. Uh, Anika, at this point, Pavitra Gowda facing a uh, police investigation. We understand they're at her residence right now. Is Pavitra Gowda also there at the crime spot? Well, you know, Akshita Pavitra Goda was taken to her own residence when she was in custody. She was picked up, taken to her own house in Arar Nagar, and that's when the police have conducted another round spot inquest at Pavitra Gowda's residence in Arar Nagar. The mobile data evidence has pointed out that both Darshan and Pavitra Gowda reached her residence in Arar Nagar after they left the shed. So essentially, they are there to, con you know, to conduct, uh, you know, to recreate the crime scene and do a spot inquest and also collect more evidence. Like, you know, was there any uh, pieces of clothing that they have used. They are going to procure every single evidence that they can find, including the clothes that they were wearing. And they're also trying to find out a uh, collection of evidence based on what's there in the phone, the exchanges of messages between Darshan and his aides. Everything is being tracked. And in Pavitra Gowda's house in RR Nagar, the police are there collecting more evidence to establish the chain of crime scene from where did Darshan go after leaving the shed and what other details will come out. So that's why the entire police police team, they are at Pavitra Gowda's residence in Arar Nagar to conduct a spot inquest. Also explain to us, uh, at this point, if you look at really uh, the allegations and you know what the police have found so far, they've established Pavitra Gowda as accused number one. Why exactly is that? Well, you know, Akshita, it was at the behest of Pavitra Gowda why Darshan went ahead and mooted his close aides to go and threaten or even murder Renuka Swami. So it was because of Pavitra Gowda. She is the root cause of this entire scenario that unfolded. It was that exchange of uh, me uh, messages between Pavitra Gowda and Renuka Swami openly on Instagram that led to the whole scene. And moreover, it is also established, Akshita, that Pavitra was very much present in the crime scene when Renuka Swami was was murdered in the shed in Arar Nagar. And that's why uh, Pavitra Gowda has been named as A1, followed by Darshan. He's the one who mooted his aides to murder Renuka Swami. So that's why A1 and A2 uh, are uh, Pavitra Gowda and Darshan. Right, thanks very much, Arga, for getting us those details. As we speak, Bengaluru cops have visited Pavitra Gowda's residence to go ahead and collect more evidence in this case.